Hello, everyone. As I'm sure everybody has met, you know, one or more of these AC members in the last few days. Um, Kev, I just want to know, you know, Kevin is no longer on the the AC because he accepted a, a role on the NRO, but this is the last known photograph of the entire group, so I stuck with it, and his 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 seat remains, you know, until next year. Oh, I could have photoshopped something <laughs> that would have been priceless. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> Um, as everyone knows, our role in the, the PDP is to facilitate these policies and try and move them forward. And after all of you, you know, are done with this meeting and get to head out, we will be going into a room to rehash all the things that have been discussed over the last few days and try and make some good work out of all the, the good feedback that you guys have provided. So far this year, uh, we've sent three proposals to the board for adoption. Uh, we, ad we abandoned two drafts, and we also requested that staff initiate uh, the editorial update process regarding the return language in M&A transfers. And so far this year, we've gotten uh, seven new proposals submitted, five of which are currently in a recommended state We've got one draft and one new proposal that we'll work on shortly. We've also, we went to a public policy consultation at NANOG back in February. This is now the, the second of the, the two PPMs. So we've got nine items on, on the docket that we're, we're currently working on. All things considered though, that's not, you know, the worst workload that we've had as you can see the, the interesting thing is kind of the trends or the spikes that are typically all related around the, the transfer proposals because the really large spike back around 2007 that John Sweeting, you know, got to happily lead. You know, we got through that one and now a lot of the, the policies are cleanups or an evolution of, of how we do transfers. So I also made note that, you know, from John's earlier policy experience report took two things away to look at the the AS topic and we'll also be discussing 2016-4 uh, at our meeting which could possibly resolve the the second issue that John raised during his report. Also wanted to thank Kathy. Now Kathy has been volunteering her time for longer than Google has been incorporated. And, <laughs> and even, as, even aside from the, the length of tenure, I, I really wanted to point out that, you know, it's one thing, you know, just to, to volunteer and serve, but when you stop and think about how many people Kathy has introduced into this whole group and expanded this community, you know, we're on Aaron 38 now, and my first meeting was Aaron 10. And that was actually before the, the formal fellowship um, programs and all the, a lot of the newcomer stuff. And Kathy was the first person that introduced me to a bunch of people, helped me figure out how this whole thing works, and is really a big contribution into you know, the fact that I'm up here talking to you guys. So I really want to sincerely, you know, personally thank you for all your help. We also have two other people who are, have moved on or are moving on. Milton's leaving the AC. And you know, if you, if you said, we're gonna put a professor and some engineers in a room and make policy, you know, it's, it's like the sound of a weird joke, but <laughs> it's, I think it really kind of captures what all this is about because you know, Milton came on board at the, the time we were trying to work through the evolution of all these transfer policies, and at least for me, he definitely caused me to 
think in a lot of directions that I wouldn't have normally gotten to on my own. So I want to thank you for your service as well. Finally, Kevin, my former number two. <laughs> Kevin served as the, the vice chair, and he definitely helped me out when I was taking on this role, because it's definitely a very interesting task that has its share of challenges. And there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes and a whole lot of work that very few people ever see. So I definitely wanted to thank Kevin for all the work that very few, he did that very few people see. And as always, thank all of you for letting us serve. Thanks. Thank any, any questions for uh, the ASA, Dan and the rest of them? No, no? Okay, thank you, Dan.